What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And today I kind of want to talk about uh, the game as a whole, what needs to be changed before the game is released in what now, three weeks, uh, just about. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. The first thing that I had noticed, and this was even going back into the alpha, so I got to play, you know, the alpha, both betas, and that was the aim assist. Something about the aim assist is off. I'm not sure if it's, you know, kind of overcompensating, it's too sticky, or if it's not catching at the right time i don't know it just feels very odd uh i thought maybe i was the only person experiencing this and then some of my friends said they were and then i started seeing a lot of people online on reddit talking about this as well so i was thinking maybe i'm not crazy <laughs> for a while i thought maybe it was just me maybe it was my controller going bad something was something was wrong but i will say a lot of times when i got in gunfights it would feel like my aim would pull in a certain direction long before it should and then sometimes it would feel like that it didn't do anything it was just like the aim assist was off i'm not sure what was causing it i'm not sure why this was an issue but i did experience this in the alpha a little bit mostly in the first weekend and second weekends of the beta so i'm not sure if it was something that was changed from alpha to beta with all the tuning they did that caused this problem and there's still no real word if we're going to have any kind of settings in the game for you know aim assist or anything like that uh, like curve response or, you know, all that kind of stuff like we did in Modern Warfare. I'm assuming no, considering that we've played two weekends of the beta. The game is out in three weeks and it's not in there. I, of course, through the beta builds, we've played there's old, older builds of the game. But you would think that they would have those kind of things in the game or in the beta versions. That way we could use them and try them out. So I'm assuming we're probably not going to have anything like that in uh, the final release of the game, at least to start with. Uh, the next thing is... Uh, the new mode, Dirty Bomb. Uh, I think that it's enjoyable at, at times. I, I told you I thought it was better than Plunder. But at the same time, it has the same issues as Plunder, in my opinion. One of the main things that I don't like is the armor system. Now, I understand there needs to be an armor system in it. It was kind of the first look at Warzone, in my opinion, how they're going to transfer it over. Because that's, you know, kind of the whole idea behind it. That's what it kind of reminded me of. It was like they were showing people, hey, look, Warzone's going to be a thing. This is kind of what it's going to look like. But also, if you want to play these other modes, you know, like you can play in Warzone, like Plunder and things like that, you're going to be able to do that as well. The one issue I have is once you wipe a squad, they can fly back in on you, parachute back in on you pretty quickly. Uh, if it gets down to one or two flags, uh, it's really hard to survive more than one or two waves of, of, of squads. Because most everyone is landing with armor and after you've been in a gunfight for a while, you have no armor. So you know that that's kind of not going to be a very good situation. But it, it was just kind of almost frustrating at times to, to plant a bomb, to plant, you know, plant some of these bombs. Because it was just people nonstop, you know, almost 40 players worth at, at times on one flag just parachuting in. You might get four or five teams wiped with your squad, but eventually you're going to be taken down because... The armor issue is definitely there. Um, I also had those issues with the the mode like I do in Warzone. There's a lot of things I don't like about Warzone. I'm not a huge Battle Royale fan, as you guys know. Uh, and I felt like the more I played Dirty Bomb, the more I started to see some of those issues that kind of uh, that I don't like about Warzone. But overall, I thought it was more enjoyable than Plunder. I do think it needs some work. Um, I think the kill streaks, some of them are still a bit too strong. I find it interesting that there's tanks in there. That's kind of odd. Um, and like I said, the, the armor situation, it's just hard to get in consistent gunfights with squads without getting beat because they have armor. After you've been in two or three gunfights on the ground, then the squad that you just killed comes back in right on top of your head. Uh, and they have, you know, fresh armor, you have none. It's just kind of a little bit of an unfair advantage. And that was one of the issues in Plunder as well, in my opinion. Uh, one of the biggest things I think, and this has been talked about a lot by a lot of different people on, on console, that is visual issues. Now, I'm not sure how the visual issues if they were even there on PC. I know a lot of people when Modern Warfare was released uh, went from playing console uh, when or when Warzone was released, released, I should say, went from playing on console to playing on PC and they're talking about how much better you could see people uh, on, on PC. I'm not sure if that was the case with this game when it comes to multiplayer. I, I think it has the same issues that Modern Warfare had when it was first released. Now, of course, as you guys remember, when Modern Warfare was first released, they did have to do a couple updates after the game came out to try to fix some of these lighting uh, situations, different areas, that kind of thing. I'm assuming Treyarch will probably do the same thing. But in my opinion, overall, Modern Warfare still has bad visuals on a lot of the maps. Everything just blends very well together. 
and I was not really expecting that for a Treyarch game, but also these graphics look more like Modern Warfare. So it must be, you know, the new engine things they're using. Uh, it's making the games look more realistic, you know, better graphics, that kind of thing. But it also kind of takes away from that, uh, you know, that classic kind of Treyarch maps and modes and, and, and character models and things where the, everything was just really bright, everything just stood out. And it was easy to kind of pick out exactly what you were looking at. Hopefully they can get these visual bugs worked out. Um, when it comes to weapons, I felt that most of all the weapons were pretty evenly balanced except the snipers. I, I think the snipers still need some work. Uh, the hit scan is way too crazy at range. If that was toned down, it might be a lot better. Uh, but it was just, the hit scan is pretty bad at range. And that is one reason you're just dying consistently. The sniper rifles, uh, they are a lot better than they were in the Alpha. I can tell you that. But at the same time, I still think they do need some work. Because sometimes... You get in a fight with the sniper, you put three or four bullets into them, you have them almost dead, and they can still snipe you through that, and you really watch the kill cam. There is zero flinch. Even though they say they added flinch, even though they say they've added aim assist, I really didn't see either of those working, really, during the uh, second weekend of the beta. Um, the slide, I think, can still be tweaked some. I, I don't know what it is. I've gotten some matches where slides seem like it works fine for everyone. It, mine felt more like Modern Warfare slide. And then you would get in a fight with an enemy, and it seems like they slid eight or ten feet past you uh you know it's like they had this long slide like kind of like it was in the alpha i had that same issue i was playing a couple of objective modes and i was trying to slide into like b flag slide into the hard point and my character would look like it slid a whole lot further than it normally would and i'm not sure what was up with that but i think the slide can still be worked on i think it's still a bit too fast uh, i still feel like it's more of a main mechanic than just kind of a side mechanic i feel like people still are sliding more than they're walking or running I think some maps are too big for six on six. Uh, that is one thing that uh, uh, Cartel will be a good example. Cartel domination, okay. Cartel team death match, it's a snore fest. It's some of these maps. They had the same issue with Modern Warfare when they try to take some of the larger maps in game and make them smaller maps. Unless you really just tone down the size, it, it just does not work because the map size is so large. So hopefully they can look at that. Hopefully, a lot of the other maps that are in game will not be as big as well. Uh, sound settings, uh, I've talked about this before, they felt like they're a little bit different than they were in the Alpha. Of course, they talked about this. They said they're going to add more bass to the weapons, bass to the kill streaks. Um, while it does sound, I guess, more realistic than it did in the Alpha, at the same time, I feel like some stuff, uh, the boat on this map in particular is way too loud. Uh, I feel like you have to adjust your headset. I had to go in and actually adjust my audio settings inside of my Astro, like, you know, its main, like, hub you can get there. Uh, with the Astro A40TRs, you actually can go into the program itself and change up your sound settings. Uh, that, I had to do that just because the sound was so loud at times. But anyway, hopefully that can get worked out also before the game is released or, you know, even after. Anyway, guys, leave a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you thought about the beta. Did you like the game? Are you planning on getting it? And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.